Hello smart people, welcome back to this comments class. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to connect Google Sheet to Google Local Studio or Google Dashboard Studio. So here with me, I have my data set which I downloaded from Kaggle.com and it's supermarket sales data set. And it contains 1000 records and the columns are 17 columns the invoice, branch, city, customer type, gender, product line, etc. Okay, so we are going to copy this um, request to the Google Sheet. So we we'll connect it to the Google Looker Studio. Okay, so let's copy all. Now, I've already set up my Google Sheets. Now let me add this record or let me create another sheet and add the record to it okay so i'm going to paste the records here okay so i've pasted the records from the original sheet to google sheet let's check okay so it's 1000 and the columns to a 17. okay so we are good to go now let's change the name so it was supermarket, supermarket sales. Okay. Supermarket sales. So we are good or we are done with the Google Sheet. Now let's move on to the Google Looker Studio, Google Dashboard Studio. Let's go to Google and search for Google Looker Studio. Okay. Now when you search for Google Looker Studio, you click on the first link. Okay, so the first link take you to the page where you can connect to the data source where you can start your reports. Okay, so we have the crates here. When we talk about um, Google Looker Studio, it's um, a nice platform where you can do your data visualization and also do your data analysis like you using the power bi and the tableau the um, excel to do your dashboard your nice dashboard you can equally use the google looker studio or google dashboard studio which i i normally use you can look at my uh, my recent records I've been using it and you can see the recent one that was um, October 9, 2023. It's very easy and it's responsive and it's current. So when you put any record and you refresh it, it will update. Okay. So let's connect to our Google Sheets. Now we have the crates. When you click on the crates, you see we have the report and data source when you click on the report it means you've already connected the google sheet to the looker studio and it's not only you connecting the google sheet to the looker studio you can also connect other um, other data sources to it so when i click on the data source you look at some okay so we have the looker you can still connect to the looker we have the Google Analytics, we have the Google Sheets, you can you can upload your file, we have the app sheets. See, so we have a lot, a lot of data sources you can connect to. We have the MySQL, we have Microsoft SQL Server, we have Google Cloud Storage. So we have a lot, even ODK, ODK Central, which um, currently I was using it. We have a whole lot, a whole lot. So you see Google Connect is 24. Okay, so today we are looking at the Google Sheets. So if you locate the Google Sheets, let's click on it. Okay. And so this is the sheets I have in my um, Google Drive. So I created the first one that is Supermarket. Okay. So first, you need to select the spreadsheet or the sheets. That's why we renamed it to the one we can remember. 
okay so we have the spreadsheet that is supermarket sales now when you click on it we have only one sheet only or only one worksheet so let's say within okay so let's say here we had more than one worksheet so we had maybe sheet one sheet two sheet three and we clicked on the supermarket sales we are going to see the sheet one sheet two sheet three here and also if they are connected when you go to the google studio or google dashboard studio you can you can connect all the sheet to them okay so let's click on the connect now when you click on the connect it doesn't take time so you can see we've connected the google sheet to the google Luca studio or the google dashboard studio and we are seeing a we are seeing a columns here so we have the invoice we have the branch we have the city we have the date we have the saw them here okay so now we are done let's create a report so you you click on the create a report which will give you the page where you'll be putting in your indicators or you'll be doing your visualization okay so this is the google Luca studio where it's a real time dashboard so any changes you do in the google sheet to take effect just you refreshing the data here okay so let's do some small visualization to see and in our next video we we'll go deep into um, google Luca studio okay so at the far right we have the data when you click on the data you see you come to this one we have the property so here is the property here is the data so the data shows the colon and here is the filter bar so the filter bar is here okay i think the filter bar is a new update which they recently added okay so let's start so this is the record thousand records for now we don't need this so first let's count the record so we have tools here and here is the name of the the report so you can change here to supermarkets you can change here to supermarkets so supermarket reports okay so let's add a chart let's see the count let's see whether we are going to get a 1000 okay so 1000 record okay so we can change the the name here so here is um record count so let's click and change it to um, number of sales so number of sales okay so you have number of sales and here too you can change it and do the edges shadow so you go to the style you go down here let me hide i shouldn't show the yeah. so let me add the border to it so you can see it's different from the first one okay so let's go and check the columns and see okay we have we are city we are city okay so let's come to add table okay so the add table let's change the invoice to city okay so we have three cities here and the three cities we are going to see each sales for all the three cities so let's click on it and so here is the count so let's sum the rule so thousand so let's add the number of records to it okay so you come to the style okay. 
let's change the border first. Number of records, number of records, number of records. Okay, so in show number. So you can see, if you sum this one up, you are going to get um, the total number here. Okay. Okay. Let's add another... Okay, let's add the pie charts for the males. Sorry, for the gender. Okay, so you see, even you can use the table also for the pie charts. But here, I want to use the gender. So let me change the city to gender. Okay. So you can see. So here, we can tell, okay, for the sales, for the male, we have 49.9%. And for the females, we have 50.1%. Meaning, when it comes to sales, the the ladies or the females are higher than the males okay so we have the dashboard here now we want to select the city and see so let's select the first city so when you select the first city it will give you the breakdown again or it will it will connect to the other chart so we selected the first city that is Yangon and the number of sales is 340. You are seeing 340 here, and now it's calculating the sales per gender for us here. So, so this Google Luca Studio too, you can share, you will come to that video too. But on today's video, we're only connecting from our data source that is the Google Sheet too the google Luca studio i really like this platform it's very easy and it's, it's very responsive you are going to learn a lot from this dashboard okay so that's all for today thanks for watching see you in the next video peace